Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week on Friday in my part of the world, Microsoft rolled out another insider preview build to the beta channel, build 22635.4880. So just a quick video to give you an overview if you would be interested as to what Microsoft is working on in this preview build. Now, first of all, there's not much that's actually happening with Microsoft just saying the update includes a small set of general improvements and fixes that improve the overall experience for insiders running this build. But they have noted one fix where they say they fixed the issue causing the homepage of settings to crash for some insiders. So that's a notable fix if you are in the beta channel. And that's basically the improvements that have rolled out. And there are two known issues because obviously beta channel is still in effect a preview build. But they've also started rolling out the paint update which I posted on last week to insiders in the beta and release preview channels which is paint version 11.2412.271.0. And in this update Microsoft says um, it is introducing the copilot menu to paint where you can access AR and what this is basically all about is it, they say it will help you complete your image generation and editing tasks faster according to Microsoft and they mention that clicking as you can see on the copilot icon from the toolbar will expand into a drop down menu where you can easily access the features like co-creator, image creator, generative erase and remove background but just take note as I did mention last week that co-creator in paint is only available on Copilot Plus PCs. Okay, so you're not going to get this feature on a so-called normal PC. And they also mentioned that within the drop-down, as we can see, each feature will also include a short description to help you choose the right tool. So not much happening in the beta channel for last week. And beta channel is still testing build 22635. So that's still in effect Windows 11 23H2. So this could be a very good reason why there's actually not too many front-facing features that Microsoft has rolled out with this latest build. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.